I wanted to introduce the concept of mise en place. Mise en place is a French term, which means in its place. This concept is really helpful for you when working with your kids in the kitchen because you've talked through the plan and you've really set your kids up for success. One of the last steps of mise en place is getting all of your ingredients prepared. This is where your kids can really help out. One of the things you can do with little kids, sometimes as early as 18 months up to two years, is just having them pour. Get them used to using measuring cups and spoons. You can really have a lot of fun with this. Ask them to fill it all the way full or fill it halfway full and then just pour that into um, a container. So same thing goes with mixing. Just let them have all kinds of fun with that. It can be water with food coloring. It can also be nice large objects like cereal grains or some beans and just let them dump them into bowls and practice that mixing skill. Bananas are a great skill building technique. Give them a fork or a potato masher and just let them go to town just mashing that banana. So a lot of parents might wonder, when is the right time to start introducing knife skills to your children? Well, every child is different. They all develop differently. And so you really are looking for signs that they're ready. Most importantly, your child should have a natural curiosity about wanting to start. Uh, optimism is a good sign. Fearfulness means that they're probably not ready to start. What we have here is we've got a wood cutting board. You don't have to use wood, you can use plastic. But when you have a slick countertop surface, it's nice to have a little, this is just um, shelf paper. And what it does is it allows your cutting board to not slip around. So when your child's working with a knife, you want a nice stable surface. And then we've got a couple different tools here I'd like to show you guys. These are kid safe knives and really they're just meant to not cut flesh, but they can cut through most fruits and vegetables. So that's one option for you. If you don't have those, a regular butter knife is fine. A lot of parents might wonder, well, what should I start them with? I think a piece of bread is a great place to start. It's soft, you can use a butter knife, you can use a kid safe knife. Parents can help their kids by doing the hand over hand technique. So what that looks like is your child would learn to grip the knife with an overhand grip, thumb on one side, finger on the next, and you'd place your hand over top of them. And the motion is tip down and then forward. So you can just work with your child to do hand over hand until they get that technique down. The next thing in order for your child to be safe is really learning how to work with fruit that is unstable or vegetables that are unstable. So I wanna demonstrate with an apple. Because it's round and you try and cut it, it can move all around and that can set up a dangerous situation. So have your child always start by making a cut in half, cut sides go down on the cutting board, which makes that fruit now stable. It's not rolling around anymore. And that also works with vegetables. So from there, the next cut is from a stable position. So now that we've worked a little with a child's knife, I'm gonna return to my adult knife. So making sure that your child is ready before they're transitioning to an adult knife. Leave a question or comment below and we'll see you next time.